Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time, touched down the perplexing pool, made friends with the yellow Pikmin, beat up the Citadel of Spiders, took out the beady long legs, and got some treasure. We're back to the perplexing pool today. Got some more work to do. We're gonna pick up some more treasure, of course. Maybe find ourselves a new treat. And then jump into a into a cavern that's actually all about treats. So prepare yourselves. All right, so today's loadout, we're gonna go with the purple Pikmin. White Pikmin did a great job last time. They can have a little bit of a rest. We're gonna bring out 40 of our yellows. We're actually gonna wanna make more of those in the not too distant future. Unfortunately, there's not really as many opportunities in today's episode. A lot of the enemies that are on the field we killed last time, and I don't think that they respawn for at least another day. So we will be fortunate to bring them back next time. But one of the things, speaking of being fortunate, we have this handy dandy bridge that we can use now. You're going to want to be careful though. Get your Pikmin <laughs> all collected first. They have a really bad tendency to sometimes get stuck under the bridge and then drown. So you obviously do not want that. But first things first, what we do have here Something of interest is a brand new type of berry. So let's go ahead and explore that. Have our Pikmin knock those down. It's a lot quicker if you have a few Pikmin with you. They're obviously gonna do a great job and then they will carry them back. Doesn't matter which ones do it at this point. But that's good for them. They can all take away the fruits of our labors. Wonderful, all right. So what we do want to do actually though, is there's a little bit of a ledge here that you can take advantage of. You're gonna want at least 15 of your yellows or 37 of them, whatever you're into. We're just gonna actually only throw 15 up there though. Let the math catch up. Wish a little bit faster and tell me what I have. All right, that's 16, that should be good. We'll call off the rest of the yellows and be interrupted rudely by our blue balls. Here we go. Ooh, this is the ultra, wow, ultra bitter. I just combined those words in the worst way. I cannot talk. It's gonna be an eventual compilation someday of me saying things incorrectly all the time. Okay, so here we go. We've got 16 yellows, you only need 15 for this, but you're gonna wanna take advantage of that C stick. So slam your stick and pick up today's first and only above ground treasure as we also get interrupted again. Game, come on. Jeez. But there you go. 10 bitter berries collected will, of course, net you something that we will actually be taking advantage of in today's cave. You don't have to use it in the cave with what I'm about to do, but it is very convenient. The boss of today's cave is a bit of a butt. So there you go. We have successfully achieved that. And what's convenient is the yellow Pikmin are thankfully smart enough to carry it just over this little area of water that they won't drown. So there you go. So taking the remainder of your yellows, which you gotta be careful with because there is unfortunately a, um, I don't know if there's any pellets in here. No, there is a, um, there's a really annoying Wallywog that is gonna try to impede our progress with what we're about to do. So we'll have to be careful with that. But we do have yellows that have not flowered yet. So go ahead and get them going. Soak up all that nectar. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. There you go, wonderful. And if you come down here and you go all the way deep inside, as I like to do, you can take out this electric gate. Only your yellows are able to do that. I'm just gonna go and try to fight this Wally Wall while I wait, because it's annoying. Nope. This is an area that obviously becomes much more uh, expansive once you have the um, the blue pick, but until you do, there's not really a ton that's available. With this Wallywog, if you're not careful, we'll try to kill your Pikmin. So, it may be advantageous to kind of give him a little bonk with your captain from time to time, but you gotta back off every so often or you'll, <laughs> you'll get hit. All right, so there we go. Today's treasure above ground, at least, has been harvested. This, my friends, is a pickle jar, the Gherkin Gate. Do people gate your Gherkin viewers? 
Who knows? But that's 40% of debt recovered. Very good. Yeah, don't bring your full squad down here until your yellows have had a chance to completely immobilize the gate. This Wallywog will come out of the water and try to be a butt. I remember this being something that I warned about before. Let me get some more. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get another uh, set of spicy berries or bitter berries. Let's go ahead and do that. Would be good to have. Why not? Can't hurt. Having two sprays in this upcoming dungeon would actually be pretty beneficial. I like that. All right, so we'll send Louie back to the onion and the radar. Oh, it's so gross. Like, you'd think it'd be dead, but it's not very much not dead. Grab the yellows, reds, and purples that we're having fun collecting all those berries. There they are again, doing their work. Yeah, having two sprays could be advantageous. I don't have, like, it's not like a huge need. If you don't have them, it's not going to hurt you, but obviously, like, having the chance to have more resources is never going to be a problem. And I don't know what the max is, so, realistically speaking, you know, as long as you're not a stupid red Pikmin trying to go up a, a long shaft like that for no reason, quit it. All right, so, we'll send Louie back with the, with the rest of the yellows and Olimar. We have this one final dab of, we can do a quick dab, of nectar. I don't know if there's any of my pick on that. Okay, there's a little bit of it that could use it. Good. Wonderful, everybody's almost full flowered at this point. Perfect. And just for safety, I'm gonna throw the remaining Pikmin up over the ledge here. That Wallywog is really obnoxious and I don't want him trying to kill my Pikmin. So you've got a nice little safety barrier here as our yellows complete the task ahead of them. Very good. Louie will go and re reclaim the remaining Bitterberry Pikmin which hopefully they should be done by now. And I believe that was two full sets. Yes, there it is. So now we have two Bitterberry sprays. I will demonstrate what those do in the final floor of the dungeon, actually. It's a little strange, but you know, you don't really need it until then. Okay, so we're making really good time. I'm actually gonna dip into the dungeon now. I'll come out of the dungeon and maybe do something, but realistically speaking, the dungeon is the really heavy hitter goal of the day. So we'll focus on that instead. There's a lot of really weird enemies in this dungeon, one of which will probably be the strangest that you'll encounter in this game for a hot minute. So just be mindful of that, it's coming up. Okay, purple's up over the ledge. Olimar, grab the rest of the crew. And we are ready to, oh wait, but first we've actually never been able to take these out. Game, three times now? That's three strikes. You are in rare form. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Radar, you need to calm down. You're getting a little, you're, getting, you're being a little much right now. So this is a Wisp. If you attack them, you can net yourself some nectar. There you go. Okay, so welcome to the Glutton's Kitchen. Six floors coming at you. Probably the one of the easiest of the um, one of the easiest of the dungeons, I would say. We're gonna split up first, and pigment. Um, why is it? I hate that it does this sometimes. It like awkwardly organizes them in like a not conducive way. So first things first. If I could have the game not slow down on me. Get yourself to your purples going. It stuns it stuns these guys, and they will instantly die, so that always helps. Game is just absolutely chugging on me right now. Here we go. So yeah, using your purples is good. One shot of a purple is enough. No, no, stop it. Alright. You're eating my purples now. Now you're dying. Could have just taken the reds, but no. You had to be that guy. So yeah, clearing these guys out is pretty advantageous, um, and because they have the stun capabilities, one shot will, at first, of course, stun them from moving, and then the second shot will uh, almost always murder them, so it's very nice. 
Murder is nice. Okay. Come on, Bulborb. You're a little stuck on the geometry here. I'm gonna send my Pikmin in there to kill you. The stun is very helpful, especially if you're dumb like me and you don't get your Pikmin all in there in the right spot. That's okay. All right, so the prize is right over there. You only need one Pikmin to carry it. But how about uh, three purples? Yeah, why not? All right, so I think I lost two purples. I don't know. That was pretty boneheaded to me, but that's all right. I do believe there's a purple, purple pop bud in here. So you got that going for you. All right, let's go. I don't have any need for you guys to carry any of these back because I don't carry corpses back. I'm I'm above that. Here at Demike Industries, it's not our stop. But yes, this is the one treasure on this floor. Very good. Let's see what it is, viewers. It is. The Master's Instrument. That, I believe, is a sidewalk chalk. All right, so you guys can stop. You're wasting time. And we are on to floor number two. Okay, sub-level two, Glutton's Kitchen. Here we go. A few more treasures on this one and the introduction to today's new enemy. Today's new weird enemy, not these. Not Cheerwigs. Instead, the bread bug. These guys will not kill you. They won't do damage to you. However, they will try to steal your treasure. So that's something to be mindful of. They're a little bit of a butt in that regard, but that's pretty much the only thing that they can do damage to you for. You can use your Pikmin to very quickly dispatch pretty much anything else in this area. Nothing else is much of a threat. And your Pikmin independently will probably be strong enough to kill these things on their own. So there you go. And these are the female Shearwigs. These are the ones that are pretty feisty. But yes, the um... I don't know where the, what is it saying that the treasure is? Oh, my Pikmin is stuck. Of course. Thinking it is in that hole, in that juicy hole. What is it? Did we take something back? <laughs> All right, so I think the game actually wants me to kill these bread bugs here. You don't have to, except for when you do. They're very odd in that you can knock them over if you land on their backs, you break their backs, and then they slowly take damage, which is really annoying. And the sound that they make is just horrific. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know if that's what it was intending, but it's very dead now. So that's how you kill them. More sheer wigs going down, of course. I'm not sure why the game put so many of those in there, but they're just kind of an annoyance, if anything. Not really a huge D-E-A-L, that's deal, for those of you who are unaware. Okay. Oh, there's the treasure. Sometimes it takes a hot minute for the game to, like, register that the treasure is there. I don't know why it does that. I'm pretty sure that's the only treasure on this uh, floor, though. If I remember correctly. But here we go. Here's one of the things that's going to be annoying. Is you've got bread bugs, right? Bread bugs, their whole MO is to try and steal your treasure. But you're not going to let them. You're not going to let them. Instead, you're going to kill them. You're going to attempt to kill them. Helps if you use the right type of Pikmin. They're not really that quick. So thankfully, you can bonk them pretty fast and then... They're going to be sorry out of luck. I don't know if you need to um, kill all of the bread bugs on these floors to assume the treasure. I don't know if it's always the case. Looks like it is here. I think the whole gimmick is that they are treasure stealers. So you murder them and take their goods. Or maybe it was theirs to begin with. And we are actually thieves. Who knows, viewers? Okay. So this, my friends, is the Imperative Cookie. I think that is one of those like cork um, drink coasters. If I had to guess. I'm gonna try to distract this guy for now. 
But our Pikmin bring it around town. He's gonna try to fight us for it. That's okay. Normally they try to fight you for it. I guess in this case he did not want to. But usually that's their MO. But that's fine. We'll send Olimar back to collect our Pikmin that are anxiously waiting for more treasure. Okay, here we go. This, my friends, is the Yuhu Cola. The massive lid. I don't know. Or I did not know that Yuhu made cola? I thought Yuhu was um chocolate milk? Was I thinking of something else? I don't know. Anyway, onward. Okay, floor number three. We're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh, living on a prayer. So there you go, viewers, if you need more yellas. Plenty of opportunities. There will be an opportunity later for purples if you're stupid like me and got a couple of yours killed. Oops. All right. So today's gimmick, lightning traps. Oh, crap. Oh, no, yeah, there. Everybody out. No, stop. Stop. We gotta hurry and kill these guys. As they electrocute, you're picking will die. Oh boy. Ooh, that was almost danger. Yeah, they uh they spring that one on you. That's kind of that's kind of rude. Yeah, we'll clear these guys out real quick. I don't think I have any other pick that actually need nectared, so we are fully nectared now. Let's go ahead and get our yellows pop in here. We've got quite a bit of trappage to, to debunk. But yes, if you need yellows, don't forget to use the yellow candy pop and get it popping. Of course. All right, so this area is kind of annoying. Um, you can actually get away with just using your yellows, which is what I'm gonna do. Just using your yellows, thank you. Um, the remainder of your Pikmin can just hang out for a moment. There's a lot of electric traps, the bread bugs won't kill you. And the enemy that we're facing up here, the one that's the most obnoxious of this area, right here, is uh, it's easier just to attack it with yellows because you can throw them a bit higher and then swarm it. You can almost one cycle it if you're, you know, good at this game, unlike me. Guys, the one thing that will that will happen here is the puffy blowhog. Puffy blowhogs will. Um, Reduce your Pikmin from flowers to leaves. So, there's that. So use your yellows, grab that treasure. The exit of the floor is behind electric traps this time around. Previous attempt, it wasn't, so. RNG, be darned. All right. And here is the secondary treasure. It's actually convenient though, because this floor can really take a long time to avoid all the electric traps and then all the beetles. The Electro Beetles, if you're not careful. We have enough. Is that 10? Of course not. <laughs> Why would it be? Oh boy. And this music is just absurd. It's very strange. Okay. This, my friends, is the Director of Destiny. That is a compass, for those of you unaware. Grab some more yellows. Avoid the Electro Beetles. We'll actually kill this one, because this one is Gonna make it a little tricky to get back to the exit. You can just please flop over so I can murder you. Words to live by. Okay. It's a very convenient situation as long as you can kind of bring it around town. So we'll let the yellows do their thing. Can you can all of you join? No. Okay. So that's really, really convenient. Sometimes you'll get good RNG. I imagine if you were going to speedrun this game that having good RNG like this would be super, super beneficial. So collect your, your, collect your reds, collect your yellows, anybody else that's just kind of hanging around. Just be mindful of any electro traps. Sneak around. Really funny gimmick that you can do with bread bugs, I'll tell you that in a second. It's the harmonic synthesizer. Those are some plastic castanets, a little click clack. Very popular in certain types of Latin music. Um, but yeah, if you have a bit of a, uh, a battle 
to steal something from a bread bug. If you can get them overpowered to the uh, to the radar, they will try to take it with them still. And if it gets sucked up in the radar, it will instantly kill them. So you got that going for you. But yes, this is very convenient floor placement. Scoop up the remaining yellows. And we will be on our way. Very, very fast floor, very nice. Once again, no real danger because the uh, bread bugs are harmless. At least this variety. Keep that in mind. Okay. Three more floors to go. We're on number four here. Hopefully there's a couple treasures on this floor. Not that way, of course. And you don't have to kill the bread bugs, I guess, unless the um, the treasures are inside them, but I don't remember them being. All right, so this is a little bit of a butt. I'm gonna steer around here. There's one stray baby bulb orb. Oh boy, oh no. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Get your purples ready. And fire! to use our spicy spray here and oh they're killing my purples it's a massacre we're getting crazy here oh boy everything is happening very fast i don't really need my spicy spray for that but i was uh, a little panicked i lost four pikmin i don't know how many of those were purples but yikes oh my goodness that was a mess well maybe you guys can quickly carry this this treasure here then maybe the spicy spray will speed up that process so we don't have to take forever yikes you can't make an omelet if you don't kill a few pikmin all right the happiness emblem squirt you just a little squirt squirt all right so that's i think there's three treasures in this one yes here we go but i can't reach that one because i don't have any any more yellows dumb all right so here we go so you think i could try to show this off your pikmin will fight it I want to see if it'll work. So the bread bugs are going to try their darndest to, to to fight, to take the treasure with them. In this case. <laughs> so in most cases, it, it will kill it all the way. But in this one, it didn't. If it hits the top of the radar, it, it gets murdered, which I think is kind of sad, but also a little funny. There you go. All right. Treasure two. In this case, this one is the Invigorator. Great name. And then we had the final treasure, which was up on the ledge over here. Very strange RNG, but hey, I can't complain. It's actually been pretty favorable today. I'm trying not to have these episodes last a million billion years. And I'm also trying to be mindful. I know for a fact that in one of these floors, there is the purple candy pop bud. So I'm trying to be vigilant explore all over yes so let's get that final treasure and then be out of here keep losing purples which is not the smartest thing but you know you got to spend money to make money or something like that that's not that's not really relevant okay anyway moving on this my friends is the white goodness oh goodness okay Okay, that's it. So now you can just navigate to the exit and move along, which is right here, convenient. And that's it. Floor five, here we go. All right, so this is the penultimate floor, number five. The last one of the day, before the last one of the day. We've got more, more, blah, 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 more bull borbs to kill, of course. And a boop, and a boop dead turbo dead and here you go here's the can you pop bud as promised get yourself some more purples sacrifice your reds of course you're gonna want your yellows but yes more purples for the purple gods because i'm stupid and uh yeah i lost lost five so we're back to basics here we go wonderful all right so here you go here's one of the more annoying enemies get all your pikmin ready split up your squad that's a horrible, horrible split up game. Try again, please. Ah, okay, not great. Anyway, grab your purples. 
sneak outside, use your C stick. This is the rock throwing turd burglar, turd burglarizer. So don't let him get hit by the rocks, obviously that's an instant kill. But with enough purples, it's pretty easy to kill. There's two of them in here, I believe. So we're actually gonna go on a bit of a rampage with our purples here. There's just something really cathartic about instantly killing a Bulborb. I don't know what it is, but man, they just, they programmed that right. Boom, dead. I just love that the purples, all they have to do is kind of look at them wrong and they're just like, well, guess you're murdering me now. That's it. All right, and these two. Killing the twins. Very good. Probably not too often you hear that statement. But yeah, clear this area out a little bit if you can. We got another uh, poopy rock monster here. The, the weird, like, I don't know. It like, it like loses track of where we are or something. It's a pretty easy kill though. Okay, so I think that's all there is. There's just the two. But we're gonna wanna clear out the remaining bull dwarves here. There are items that we are going to love to carry back. They're a lot harder to carry back when you have bull borbs trying to eat all your stuff. So, oh, there's a third one. Man, that's messed up. When I, in previous recordings, I only had to, do, to deal with two of these. All right, so it's dead before it could even get a sniff at us. Ma'am, sir, stop it. Okay, let's have a few of you take this. Very good. And this is the only other treasure, I believe, on floor five. I have just run Louie through the actual absolute gambit here, though. Is not have a ton of health left. All right, we moving and grooving here. I could have sworn I, I wrapped you around. I gave you the old reach around. Guys, guys, what in the good gosh dang are we doing? Participate. There you go. It's one downside of purple Pokemon. They're so slow taking eons to get anything done. Nobody wants to work. Okay, so I believe the exit is right around us, behind, right around our behind. That's okay. It is over here. Today's first treasure of this floor is the boom cone. Don't you just love a good boom cone? That'd be a great name for ice cream. Oh man, do they have that new boom cone? Everybody could use a nice boom cone from time to time. All right, so we will break off here. Only using Louie sparingly because that al alert is gonna be very annoying. It's almost like playing Zelda. Today, guys, come on. We got places to be. Okay. Ta-da! The sulking antenna. I'm not sure why it's called that, but then again, I'm not sure why most of the things in this game are what they are. Okay, so that is treasure complete on floor five. That is a squad complete on a floor. Here we go. Okay, everybody, floor number six, and the one that's a little tricky, this has the final boss on it, sort of. Um, you have to move quick here. You'll see why in a moment. There is a large enemy in the back that you saw that wants to take all of the treasures. And we are not gonna let them. They're all actually trying to steal all the treasures. But first things first. I believe we can, yes. So this is why we have this new spray. The bitter spray. They made them nice and hard, just how we like it. Stops the beast in their tracks. This enemy right here is the um, is the master bread bug, which if it takes all of your um, if it can, it will steal all the treasures that are on this floor. So yes, it is a gre greedy beast, just like me. All right, so let's be careful here. Try to safely navigate around these electro bugs. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. 
I don't know if like I missed if I'm gonna miss out on those treasures because of the uh, other bread bugs eating them. I might have if those even count as treasures. I don't know if it's just like a distraction. It might just be a distraction. We are gonna be careful around the electro bugs. This might be the only treasure that's on the floor, actually. I don't know. I'm gonna go around real quick and check. I think it'd be weird for them to have pieces of food be treasure, but I don't know. The bread bug's gonna try its darndest to steal it from us. <gasps> Guys, we did it! I-O! Dream material. This, I believe, is a, an eraser. It's made of rubber. <laughs> Get your research going then, okay. So now, with this addition to our arsenal, we have the anti-electrifier. We will now be immune to electric shocks. Very good. So anytime you're up against the gate, anything like that, you won't be, you won't get shocked anymore. So yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if that's a prize. There's like a piece of ham too, I think. I don't know if, if that's what it is, but I'm gonna try to like kill a few of these while I'm waiting. Okay, I guess it was. Maybe we missed on that ham. You gotta move really fast. The hideous vic- vic- I've never heard that word in my life. I don't know if, if you kill the bread bug, if you get it back, maybe? We're gonna try, though. Stop running from me, you burger. Turn to you burger. You burglar? I can't even talk. All right. I mean, I think so. I think it, I think if you kill it, you get it back, so... If I could hit it... Give me back my ham! D-Mike loves ham. Did it put it back in the spot? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I guess it does. So there you go. So you don't want to miss out on any of the... any of the prizes here. In this case, I would love to throw you at the ham. Please go collect my ham. Good job. Oh! You gotta be careful though, bread bugs will drag you down into the abyss, and if they do, they will kill your your Pikmin, which is really annoying. We're just gonna have to do a stop. I think we have an abundance of Pikmin though, it's not gonna be able to withstand our might. The purple on the plate over here, he's just hanging out. You can almost reach it. Okay, and that's the final treasure of this floor. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get it back. It's very gross looking. The meat of champions. I do like a good ham sandwich. Do you like ham sandwiches, Beers? Alright, so we're going to have to try to, like, really sneak our way around here. Oh, well, it was not the final treasure. There's one more. Oh, I think this bread bug has it. Oh, yeah. You're mine, buddy. Come back. You're not going anywhere. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get him. No, yellows. No, no, guys. No. Oh, you big dummies. <laughs> Alright, so this will be convenient, though. Did I just lose another purple? I think I did. Oh, boy. Oh, no, there's the one that's over there. I didn't. Okay, never mind. There we go. That does a ton of damage to it, so conveniently, a quick hit will uh, talk, take him out. And then whatever... Whatever treasure... Oh, it was a donut. Do you go nuts for donuts? I actually don't. I don't really care for donuts. Not because I don't like them, but it's the amount of, like, sugar and fat. It just makes me sick. I can't really eat them in any quantity. Or I'm like, yeah, this makes me feel awesome. Doesn't happen, unfortunately. I mean, nothing wrong with a nice glazed donut, but in general, yeah, just not... Not the biggest of fans. It's not my only fan. All right, and final treasure of the day on floor six, the Sweet Dreamer. Sweet dreams are made of d Mike. All right, so let's go grab our Pikmin, take them around the outside here, and get the heck out of here. But yeah, conveniently, having that ultra bitter spray will uh, make quick work of the Master Breadbug. 
it will drag all of your Pikmin down into the abyss and murder them if you're not careful. So be mindful. So let's go. Here's the treasure salvage. Made quite a few. I love when the game randomly speeds up on itself. That's a cave complete though. We're doing amazingly. No saving. All right, back to the perplexing pool. That cave was not too perplexing. Pretty reasonable. And, you know, we've got half a day to go do stuff, but like realistically speaking, there isn't anything else that I really want to do on this day. So instead, that means that we are going to sunset. We hit 40% and then 50% goodies. Like, music is very joyous now that we've done so. Must be the corporate overlords cheering us on. All right. Another look at that great texture and today's report. We earned quite a bit of goods. 1,300 Pocos. We are halfway to our expected limit. Actually lost the others. <laughs> and reds. Oh boy, not great on the uh, Pikmin propagating front, but that's all right. Another message from the Presidente. Olimar, you're my hero. You've erased half of our debt. Still, things have become a bit dangerous, so I'm going into hiding. Focus on work and don't slack off. He's sounds like a politician. All right. No saving. Continuing on. A very classic day six. A lot of work done. Two dungeons out of four complete. All right. So that's all we've got time for today. We'll come back next time and explore a little bit more. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. If you enjoyed this video, liking, commenting, and subscribing always helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.